Hi, my name is Laura Litwin and I am an application engineer for Seagrid. Today I am going to show you how to automate your warehouse with Seagrid robotic industrial trucks. This is a Seagrid GP8 single robotic industrial truck. We take a standard pallet jack and put our robotic components on it. One of our robotic components is the camera net. There are five cameras up there taking pictures of the facility. At Seagrid, we pride ourselves on the safety of our trucks. As part of our safety system, we have the light curtain right here, which extends downward, and if anything gets in its path, the robot will stop. As the second part of our safety system, we have the primary sensor down below, which again, if something gets in the robot's path, the robot will stop. Over here, we have our e-stops, and as soon as those are pressed, the, ro the robot will stop. Let's get started. I'm now going to show you how to train a secret robotic industrial truck. Seagrid has designed a simple, user-friendly interface for robot operators. Right now, I am telling the robot that I want to begin training a route. Next, I am going to name the route that I am about to train. For this demonstration, I will name the route 3 to 4. Now I am going to begin training the robot by walking it through the route I want it to travel on. Many traditional trucks follow rules of the road. Robotic industrial trucks can pause at an intersection, sounding horn honks to enter or exit aisles or heed the right-of-way and cross aisles. Seagrid robots allow an operator to program behaviors that follow specific traffic rules. At this section of the route, I am going to program a horn honk and a pause. The robot will honk its horn and pause at this intersection before it enters the aisle. Seagrid's highly innovative and intuitive walk-through-then-work deployment system allows me to easily teach a new route to the robot by walking through the warehouse with the robot along a desired route. I am going to customize a horn honk and pause at this intersection as well. Because this intersection tends to be rather busy, the robot will sound its horn and pause before it enters the aisle and turns the corner. While I am training the robot, the cameras are taking pictures of the facility. The robot translates this information and builds 3D facility maps and train routes within the maps. After I am finished training the robot, it will reliably follow and repeat the route as instructed, over and over again. In this section of the route, I am programming a drop-off. Now that the drop-off behavior has been set, the robot will repeatedly drop off loads in this location so a forklift driver can put away the goods into the racking. If your operations change by ship or product flow changes regularly, you can simply train new routes and the robots will adjust to your current workflow. This flexibility allows skilled workers to focus on more value-added tasks while the robotic trucks safely deliver materials throughout the facility. So now I just showed you how to train a robotic route. Now let's get this robot working. I am going to load the robot with a pallet of goods. Enter the route I want the robot to travel. And simply hit the push to work button and the robot will go to work. 